Hi guys. So for those of you who are regular subscribers, uh, I'll apologise for this video. It's not going to be particularly interesting. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is hopefully to get it out there on the search engines to maybe help a few people out over the next year or so um, if they've got the same problem that I did and want a solution to it. Um, what I'm doing is talking about an old product, the T-Motor MT2216 motor. Um, it's a lovely motor, no issues with it whatsoever. I've owned some for about a year. I've got the 800 kV motor. Uh, they're a popular upgrade path for people who have got um, a DJI F450 or a TBS Discovery. Um, they're very popular motors in general. Um, Basically, while there's nothing wrong with the motors, there are some problems with people who want to use different types of props on them. Now, if you're using your Gropners, if you're using your APCs, then there's no real issue whatsoever with them. Um, my issue that I had with them is when I went to use the T-Motor carbon fibre props, the 11 by 3.7s. Um, the specific problem that I had was that the stock motor mount, the prop adapter, is not suited to these whatsoever. Now in the box it didn't say anything about that, um, either in these motors or in the blades. When you go onto the website it turns out that if you want to use these blades you are supposed to buy a full set of completely different prop adapters at about £12 per corner. Um, now I found out the hard way unfortunately by trying to use the original prop adapters which are too long and basically when you put the little adapter ring in slides on absolutely fine but hard to see you can see that the flat spot down the bottom here just isn't tall enough and even if you use the provided washer that actually when you do it up with a nut it gives you an element of grip but what you don't realize is it is not gripping fully on all of the blades I found that two of them were fine and I then found that two of them were still loose um, all the way to the point where when I thought I was confident with it they slipped 200 feet in the air fell out of the sky damaged my zugong destroyed two of the blades um, which at the cost that these blades come at is a little bit harsh so what you actually have to do despite them not giving you any warning on it is you have to buy the PA004 and PA003 adapters now what they are are they are shorter versions of the originals so this is the original that's the adapter you can see the smooth surface at the bottom is much shorter you can see also that the um, that the thread itself is shorter. They're both M5 threads um, but the idea of these ones is that they're knurled at the bottom so there's a grip on them. If I just focus and when you then slide these props on there you can hear it's got something to grip against. Most importantly though is they are counterclockwise and clockwise rotating so when you put them on the correct corner it means that as you're motor is spinning clockwise it will be tightening up the nut on the top of it thus preventing any slippage should be gripping really nicely and since I've had these on my T motors they've been no problem whatsoever so that covers that little thing there so um, no major issue there and again it's something that a lot of people have discovered the thing that I wanted to talk about is I wouldn't necessarily say it's an unknown thing but it's a lesser known fact that T motors do actually do a prop adapter for the MT2216 which suits people who like the DJI blades. Now the Phantom 2 blades seem to have become a bit of a revolution in blade style. Um, personally from doing my own testing I found that they are really good blades, they really do actually increase flight time, flight characteristics are good and of course the fact that they've got an encapsulated nut makes life really easy. Now. I discovered on T-Motor's website that they have been selling for a long time the PA030 and the PA029 prop adapter specifically for the MT2216 motor and this basically, which is it here, gives you a DJI style hub on your MT2216 so you can see there's a flat area there which means if you've got an old 450 1038 blade you can just slide that on there and that will slot on all tight or more importantly there's another option and this option makes me laugh a little bit because if we look at the paperwork that actually comes on it note the fact it says name M5 CCW short prop adapter and it talks about how it's compatible with the 9x3s the anti-gravity blades that they did a while back and also with the version 1 and version 2 phantom props. What 
is funny is that they're not M5, they're M6 threads. And because they're M6 threads, it means they are in fact exactly the same as the Phantom 2 motor heads. That means if you've got a Phantom 2 blade, you just have to put it on there, spin it down, and boom, you're locked in. And what that means is that it opens you up with your T-Motor MT2216 motors to the possibility of using Phantom 2 blades, the 9-inch versions, um, the identical but grey versions of the E300s, and, while not tested, also, I believe, the E600 blades, which are the 12-inch versions, because I am fairly sure that they are the M6 thread as well. Also, if you did want a slightly bigger one, then of course you've got the option, as I've shown before, of using the um, the 1038s, which are the 10-inch blades that come with the F450, and these are still very nice props, in my opinion. So anyway, like I say, for the people who subscribe regularly and have made it this far into the video, thank you very much for watching. Um, not particularly fascinating. Like I say, the idea is that I could not find these PA30 and PA29 parts anywhere in the UK. Um, they're on the T-Motors site, but you can't buy them directly from them. I went to Electric Wingman, Electric Flight, uh, Quadcopters. They all had the uh, the short uh, shaft ones for the carbon fibre blades. They all had those available, although not necessarily in stock. But no one seemed to have the PA30s. Um, I don't know why that is, but anyway, the point is they are out there. If you're in the UK and you can't find them, then what you want to do is go over to America, in fact, not actually physically, but go to Ready Made RC, which is where I got mine from. Um, I think it ended up costing me about 40 quid, um, which, given the fact that they're about £10 per corner anyway for the standard ones, isn't too bad. Um, I ordered them on a Monday, they arrived on a Friday. Uh, shipping was very reasonable from that point of view because they're small parts. Um, but it is a source of these items that are in stock. So if you're a fan of the DJI blades and you've got yourself a set of MT2216 motors, then this is the option for you. Grab yourself the PA030 and 029s whilst you still can. And obviously if you're a UK retailer and you're looking at this and you have a source of uh, stock from T Motors, then please get some in. I think you'll find people will be interested in buying them.